Okay, it's now 20 to midnight. Let's get stuck into this then. So we're talking about justice on Westgate Night Chat. Justice. Something we're debatably lacking in today's modern society. We're all aware of what's been happening in our city over the past few weeks with this vigilante that people are calling the snowman. So, is this what we need on our streets? Do people feel safer or more scared with this guy out there? A guy that police still haven't managed to arrest. I'm joined in the studio now by Superintendent George Davis of the Metropolitan Police. George, thanks for joining us. Hello. Now, eight months ago, we sat here and you told me on live radio that the situation was going to get better. Are you going to tell me it has? Well, let's look at Trekworth as a town, shall well, we? Well, no, George, let's not look at Trekworth. Let's take a look at Westgate, shall we? Well, <laughs> Westgate's obviously a bit more well, complicated. Listen, here's the facts, George. Twelve attacks in the last month. Twelve. Over half of those, knife crime. With any situation like this, things often get worse before they get better. Um, but with, with the, the rate of crime is increasing in a city, some might say that an excuse like that really isn't acceptable, myself included. Regular listeners to the show will be aware of my recent mugging. Two lads, I identified them both to the police with a surprisingly good description, considering they were both jumping up and down on my head at the time. And you know what the police said to me? What your men said to me after taking my statement. We'll see what we can do, but we really can't promise anything as there was no CCTV. Just be careful where you walk next time, no, mate. I, I can't comment on it's operation. Disgusting. Let's talk about this snowman character, shall we? I think, what I think we need to assess... Would you is, say that his the... actions over the past few weeks or so have put you to shame? Look, what I can tell you is that this city will not tolerate vigilantes or anyone performing their own version of justice out there. We put into action a plan to eradicate this. Eradicate? Practice. People might say that it's not this guy that, that needs eradicating. Can I just say the relevant measure is in place for the, and, and Relevant measure? Is this the so-called task force that you've been talking about? As I said, I'd really rather not discuss it any further. Thank you. Well, let's move on then. You take that bird back from the other night. Text one of my mates, but I ain't got any credit in it. Don't have a mobile. Everyone's got a phone now, they don't fuck about. Look, I'm not fucking about, alright? Why don't you just use one of your mates' phones? We ain't got any credit. Between the four of you? Yeah, fuck off. Mate. What? Like, give me your phone, you fucking slack! Yo, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> Come in, man! Three 
363 to depot receiving. Depot receiving 363. Depot, I've got a bit of an issue on board. There's four lads fighting on the top deck. I think one of them's that guy off the news. The Albino. What's your location, 363? Drive. Stand by, 363. Get me Superintendent Davis. Cuff him! Is it worth my men checking if they're still alive? If you want to waste more police time, Superintendent. Oh, so you do know who I am. Good. Check the bus. So when does all of this stop? You tearing apart my city. About an hour by the looks of it. I arrested a lad last year. He broke into a detached house while the dad was away on business and tied the mum up. Then he moved next door. He raped their 13 year old daughter. Mum heard everything and couldn't do a thing about it. Judge gave him three years. Three poxy years. That family's fucked for life and he gets three years. Maybe you shouldn't have arrested him. You should have killed the animal on the spot. Oh well, I can't do that. But you can. I didn't think your region tolerated vigilantes. When you get to my age, you can either be a stubborn, and bitter old man who nearly made a difference, or you can adapt. Times are changing, and you and I both know that the balance is way off right now. The type of criminals out there, they're not afraid of standing up and getting a slap on the wrist from some overweight, red-faced judge in court. What they are afraid of is you. 
which is why I would be stupid to bring you in. I need some justice out there. You're talking about street justice. There's more than one way to skin a cat. I should pay Morgan a visit if I were you. Don't you be the second man she's lost to society's hoodie scum. Jake Evans, 25 years old, died saving my life eight months ago. He wanted to eradicate the scum from the streets. His pain, born out of the destruction of the beautiful life he had hoped to live with his future wife, Morgan, raped by those insects out there that prey on the fearful. In this modern age where our fear of conflict and combat fuels them to take what they want from us, someone has to stand tall. My life was nothing until Jake entered it, and with him, Morgan entered it too. Justice evolves. It has to. We need a way to find redemption. After all, there is more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs>